jump through so many hoops to do it. But it's on now. Okay, good. That's all I care about. Right. So we're done. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to play this for you or have you play this for people because this is, oh, my God, this got me so angry today. This is the one thing that is just putting my, like, nose what what what's the expression like what gets put out of shape whatever's put out of shape that that on me today is completely put out of shape because when i heard this it really really upset me so i'm a huge fan of kyle and jackie o it's a it's like the number one morning show in australia they've been there forever everybody knows them they're super famous there you know they are also i think they're also on television as well but um and many many years ago they had me on i forget it was like one of my, one of my books had come out and they had me on as an expert talking about something and i mean they've been very good to me i, I i've loved them for so long and i listen to them even though they're in australia and i'm here in new york mm -hmm. And they've made it easier to listen because now I can listen on Instagram. You know, I listen on their website, but when I can't listen on the website, I can catch it. I catch up on Instagram. So Jackie O has been getting these phone calls where it's unknown. And then as soon as she picks up, the person hangs up. So she's getting really upset about it. Mm -hmm. And she's on the air. And while she's on the air, she gets one of these phone calls and she mentions it. And I guess because, you know, there's cameras all around everywhere, they're able to see that her phone says unknown and she's getting really upset about it. Mm -hmm. I will let her and let them explain to you what those phone calls are and how they came about. And you will see why in this age of covid, when everybody in our industry is unemployed mm -hmm. because our industry has just completely gone to shit. This this is what's happening in her world. What the f <gasps> This person keeps calling me all morning <laughs> and they hang up as soon as I answer a and it's a private number. number. Yeah. And I'm like wanting to catch them out and Someone's go, what the your number? F do you want? Mm -hmm. Do you know how obsessed I am with who's calling me? Yes, oh, I'm there the whole time. I'm hearing the frustration. <laughs> That's obviously Kyle. And I told the producers on the phone, call Jackie's phone when she's playing Candy <laughs> Crush. Oh. And so we're calling on oh, a private number. My God, you've been calling me on so the private number. So we're sabotaging your gameplay because you're not, you're sabotaging the show. Yeah, you guys have been doing so, this for weeks. She's been getting the weeks. hangout calls for weeks. Pedro and I figured out what it was that you were doing <laughs> and it's bloody Candy Crush. Instead of listening to us, you're playing Candy Crush. <laughs> While she's on the air. Oh my God. Right. And I'm such a loser for doing this. I mean, who? Yeah, who, you are. What? plays candy crush anymore surely no i well i haven't heard like you're like seven years late oh, to I, I'm like <laughs> 15 years late. Well, there's that too you're like 65 year old women on the train <laughs> <laughs> i can't help it i just i'm so addicted to this candy crush and i'm actually spending hard-earned money on the bloody game oh my god what do you mean because you Oh, they you make you spend it. money. They oh, do. Jackie, oh, I'm literally, I reckon I'm spending about 80 or 90 They don't make you spend money. I used to play Candy Crush a million years ago when everybody was playing it. I never spent a dime on it. You don't have to. They don't make you. You don't have to, but if you no. want to continue and you don't want to watch ads, you can. Because you have to spend money. You can't money. get through that level. So, I mean, if you don't have anything else in your life that you spend money on, I guess you can spend money. Okay, I'm money. sorry. That's not the part that's ticking me off, by the way. I could care less what she does with her money. It's mm -hmm. the fact that she has a job in radio. She is on the air live. And instead of mm -hmm. having respect for her audience and respect for the fact that she is friggin' working when thousands of people in our industry, at least, I mean, one company let, let 10,000 people go since COVID started. So over mm -hmm. the course of the year, they have 10,000 less employees and, and granted a lot of them are producers and people behind the scenes but there's a lot of on-air talent um not just us but like so many of our friends have been let go people have different they're, they're living their lives differently they're not getting in the car every morning and turning on the radio because they're not getting in the car every morning because mm -hmm. they're working from home so radio is suffering it's one of the industries that is really really suffering i know this is big push to get um the restaurant industry back and to make sure grocery stores are good. I'm okay with that, but there's been no push to help radio personalities because nobody feels like they have to listen to the radio or help people in radio. So it is, if you are, if you're in radio and you are still working, you are very lucky. Mm -hmm. You are 
very, very lucky. But this bitch is sitting there playing Candy Crush while she's live on the air. That's how little respect she has for the fact that she has a job in radio and that she's working right now. And, and her audience. Can you imagine? You're the audience. You're, you're spending your your time listening to her and she's busy playing Candy Crush. I'm, unless you paid to keep trying to get uh-huh. through to that level. And, and then there's all these extra things you can do like to help you complete that level, but you pay for it. And it's it's a problem. But I'm insulted. Here I am talking to you, telling you all my <laughs> dreams and hopes for the future. Right. I like to Nothing. think that I have been able to do two things at once. Well, guess what? You haven't. <laughs> right. You haven't been able to listen and play Candy Crush, that's for sure. You because the producers noticed. Your intern Crush noticed. Several times. Oh. <laughs> Is this why people are saying, hey, uh, Jackie seems very quiet today? Oh, I'm so- This is bad. Okay, let's delete it. No, I can't. Delete I can't. it. Oh, well, can't. How about just putting your phone really down while you're on the air? Right, how about just not yeah, playing no, Candy Crush while you're at work, oh, okay. while you're working, while you're on the air live? Remove that. No, I can't. <laughs> I've, been, no, I've got <laughs> such a high level. I can't what do you get? It. You don't even win anything. What do you win? You win money or no, you a win car? nothing. You win nothing. So you're wasting your life playing a game where there's no, no nothing to achieve. Nothing that right. you're achieving. Mm. Delete it. Please delete it, Jackie. Can't, Just do it. Come on. I'm up to Please. level 455. Wow. Or good job. Oh my God. So great. Oh, so is, that, so, so is, is Candy Crush paying your salary or is your radio station is Kiss paper. paying your salary? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Kyle. We do a show. All right. Well, I'm kind of with her on you, this. You're with her? You think it's okay to be paid? The, listen, she's not just paid a little radio salary. She's making the kind of money that, as you and I know, like some people that are stars in our industry make. It's she's, the 1% of people that that make that that much money. Right. So, she, oh. she's, she's, she's making the 1% money. Okay, and she's sitting so there she, playing Candy Crush rather than doing her job. Okay, but she is on a pop station, so they're playing 15 songs an hour. She's not running the board, and sometimes you need something to to break up the monotony, whatever you call it. Okay, you don't <laughs> listen to the show. They don't play 15 songs an hour. They do it the same way Elvis does, where they play a couple of songs an hour. It's less music. It's more of them. They have a whole thing that they do. They do like they have um, a lot of benchmarks that they do where they play games. They play a lot of games with the listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, they have guests on. So during the course of the few hours that they're on the air, it's very little music. There is music, but it's very little music. It's mostly no, but she's not running the board. She's not. It doesn't doing matter. It she's, playing it. she's playing they're it. She's playing it while she's live on the air. She's not playing it while a song is going on. Cooper and Anthony presented by Chatterbait, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Candy Crush today. Yeah, I, but I, I, I kind of can see it because I think we're all in the mode now to where we don't even watch TV and pay 100% attention. We're, she's we're not doing sitting and watching now. television. She is at okay. work. She is working. She's she's a talent. She's a host. She's doing a lot. Right. Can you imagine if you were watching? I mean, we don't watch The View, but can you imagine if we did watch The View? First of all, that in and of itself, it would be like a joke. But if we were watching The View, can you imagine Sonny Hostin is sitting there instead of yelling at Joy Behar? She's sitting there on her phone playing Candy Crush live on, on well, and national this television. Is, this is a problem with the radio station, too, because they have two producers a guy running the board and two right. people on the air. Right. You know, when we were doing a show, it was just us. <laughs> right. That uh-huh. was it. So right. when we're on the air or not even on the air, when we're in a commercial stop set, we're doing 10,000 things at once, but they have way too many people on that show. So the only thing she has to do is talk 10 minutes an hour. No, no. Okay. Again, it's not 10 minutes an hour. They are they do a lot of bits. They do a lot of games with the audience. They have a lot of guests on. They do like regular segments and stuff like that. I'm telling you, it's they're working like while they're mm-hmm. there, they, they are working. And I'm not saying she's not playing Candy Crush during a stop set. She's not playing Candy Crush. That's commercials, in case you don't know. Um, she's not playing Candy Crush during like five songs in a row. That would make sense. That'd be fine. I have no problem with that. Mm-hmm. What they're saying is that she is playing Candy Crush while she is live on the radio. Can you imagine if your pilot 
was flying an airplane and instead of flying an airplane and paying attention to all the little knobs in front of him he was playing candy crush and he probably is i mean most planes fly themselves but that's the problem with radio now <laughs> you that know nobody respects their job when they're nobody actually respects working? their job so why am i gonna why am i gonna pay, listen to you when you don't even listen to you <laughs> if you can't listen to you without playing a game then i'm not gonna listen to you I think so that's a- where that's where everything goes to hell now. i think she needs a reset you know i think Here's the thing. They've been doing it a long time. They're very famous. They make a lot of money. They have job security like nobody is firing them. So she can do whatever the heck she wants because she knows that she's got job security. She knows it's Kyle and Jackie O. They're super and like their ratings go higher and higher every year. Like they do better than they've ever done. You know, everybody wants them for television, for this, for that. Like they are there. They are it in Australia. Mm-hmm. They are it. You know, I mean, I- I'm here in New York and I know who they are. OK, right. just to give you an idea of how like incredibly and I love her like she's really good. I love listening to her. I usually agree with her when she says stuff like she takes the take that I would take. You know, I'm just I guess I feel really let down. You know, I feel like th- here's somebody that I really respected in radio only to find out that she doesn't respect radio. She doesn't respect her job. She doesn't respect her listeners. She's happy to sit there playing Candy Crush instead of doing her job and talking to a listener while they're talking to her. Yeah. And that's then that's the downfall of radio right now. <laughs> you, you don't right. you can't even pay attention to yourself. So if you can't pay attention to your own show, we got a problem. So, yeah, you need to be called in to the PD's office after that and say, I'm going to look at the ratings for that hour. And if they went down because you weren't paying attention, you know, something's going to have to be done. You, you're going to have to. And with radio people you're gonna have to say there's now a basket outside the studio Mm -hmm. with a table and you put your phone in that when you walk into the studio right you got to treat them like kids that's how we used to do with drinks you can't bring a drink in the studio anymore you have to leave it out (laughs) out there because you're gonna spill something in the board so you got to treat them like they're five-year-olds Right. So from now on, you lost your phone privileges. Sorry. If somebody has to call you, they'll call the hotline. If you get to the point when your name is on a show and your producer has to call you out, like, I don't even know who these producers are. Like, I don't know how long these producers have been with them. They, they, mm-hmm. they haven't been, been with them since the beginning. It's not like these are their, you know, it's not like the producers. It's not like Fred, you know, with on, on Howard Stern. It's not like somebody that's been with him since the beginning. Mm-hmm. So, so if two producers that, you hired to do your show are noticing this to the point where they came up with a scheme where mm-hmm. they call you. That was brilliant. From, it was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Where they call Mess you from a, from a non-registered number. Every time you play candy crush mm-hmm. just to get your attention, there is a problem. And I'm not saying you've, you have an addiction to candy crush. I'm saying part of your addiction to candy crush is your, disrespect or, or, or unappreciation for the fact that you are working in an industry that is dying as we speak because p- you know there's people no don't listen to you because you can't listen to you well, yeah yeah so people don't listen to you because you can't listen to you exactly but also you know people are not in their normal habits mm-hmm. people that I, I have friends with major job security they've been in their markets for 18 years more they all got blown out they mm-hmm. all got blown out because the stations aren't making money and they can't afford those big salaries yeah, there's a guy today got blown out in Savannah. He's been there 40 years, 40 years at the right. at the country station. He's gone. Right. So that's what's going you on know, so, in America. Yeah. I mean, my guess is I, I don't think they're having the same COVID issues that we are. But it's just from, from a perspective of somebody that loves and respects radio. I love mm. and respect my listeners. I'm always grateful for them. I just I could never I couldn't even, even imagine playing Candy Crush of all things. Mm-hmm. I don't even like to take it. If somebody texts me while I'm on the air, I get mad. I'm like, how dare they text me while I'm on the air? Like, right. I, I don't even want to have my phone in here. Yeah, I used to bitch when you or producers would would update social media while we're on the air. Stop well, them with that. we'll do different. it. After. I know, but I still said we'll do that afterwards because you know what? Facebook's not paying us. So let's worry right. about this. And we had too much going on during the stop set to do anything anyway. 
Right. You know, it was nonstop. So, no, but I was taking pictures of stuff we were doing in the studio, yeah, and, then, and then I would post during a stop set or during a song or whatever. But you're right. Social media isn't isn't paying us. But they're not paying us. And but the that, radio station was, and they required mm-hmm. a certain amount of posts per show. But you know who's definitely not paying her? Candy Crush. <laughs> right. King, so King, who owns the who owns Candy Crush. And that was the the bitch that I had in every meeting. You got to update social media five times during every shift. No, I have to I have to bring ratings in. If right. I if I have nine million people following me on Twitter, I'm still going to get fired if the ratings go to crap. Right. So, no, we're going to concentrate on the show. Then we're going to concentrate on social. Right. So that's my issue. So, yeah, I would have a a massive problem with her if I was a producer or I was Kyle. I'd be like, we got to have a talk. Right. Kyle didn't seem very happy about it. So speaking of games, I made up a game in my head on the way home. Okay. A new game for us. Okay. And we're going to have to bring somebody <laughs> else uh, later this week, maybe Friday, we'll bring him on. But we're going to play a new game called What Would Jay Say? So, <laughs> <laughs> Jay, if you don't know, is one of our longest listeners. He's He's been with us forever. And right. he's the salt of the earth guy. Yeah. You know, he is... A guy's guy. The nicest person in the whole. The nicest life. guy. The nicest and- guy in the whole. So supportive. Like he's he's a supportive friend. He's mm-hmm. a he's a nice guy. He does good things for the world. Like we, you and I will never be half the person Jay is. So, but Jay is the guy that wears a flashlight around his 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 neck. Mm-hmm. He's from Maine. You know, he's a, a family guy, wife and kid. Right. You know, so. I want to come up with a game you and I will play and then we'll bring him in. Okay. What would Jay say? So we're going to say, what would Jay say? What would he rather have a hamburger or lobster? Oh, well, definitely a hamburger because remember was, didn't we have him on when he was eating that giant hamburger? See, that's why this is a good game, but he's from Maine. So he's got to love lobster. Okay. What would Jay say boxers or briefs? Ooh, he uh, <laughs> that's tough. That's tough because um, he's not a tiny guy. Um, I'm going to say Jay is a boxers guy. I think he probably likes it loose and comfy. And I'm going to say boxers. Is he a butt guy or a boob guy? Oh, he's a boob guy. I say he's a butt guy. You think he's a butt guy? Pepsi or Coke? Oh, you know, he loves to be uh, kind of a. How do I put this? Like, um, I don't know. He loves to uh, go against the grain. So I'm going to say Dr. Pepper. Oh, so neither. Neither. <laughs> Tea. Yeah, he's definitely I, uh, not Pepsi or Coke. He's going to it's going to be something weird like Mr. Pibbs or something that you can only get in Maine or something we never even heard of. Right. Oh, that's true. It's got to be something like RC Cola. That RC Cola or some kind of like there. weird flavor you only get in, in Maine. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And, you know, is Jay, what would Jay say, McDonald's or Burger King? Ooh, I see, think that's a hard one. I, no, I'm, no, no, no. No, 100% McDonald's because he has the kid. I know the kid's older now, but when the kid was young, I'm, I think they did a lot of Happy Meals kind of stuff. So I think I think the kid was a McDonald's kid. See, but my head goes, there is probably 10,000 McDonald's in Maine, and there's probably only seven Burger Kings. So Burger King was more of a treat. Right. So I I would go with the Burger King. You know, then what is Jay's favorite movie? What's his favorite movie? Um, I think I can tell you the genre. It's a Western. Okay, I, I think it has nothing to do with that. Or an action movie. It's something with, uh, you know, yo, you don't think it's like a gun shoot 'em up kind of thing? I think it's a like Western. Like a die-hard type of. Yeah, or something, some kind of, I don't know Western movies, but something that Clint Eastwood was probably in. Yeah, I'm going to say Princess Bride. You think Jay's favorite movie is Princess Bride? I'm going to go with Princess Bride. Whoa. Yeah, that's something completely that'll make you go, really? Okay. I'm, I'm going with Dirty you, Harry because he's a little older and he's um, kind of edgy. You know, I'm going Dirty Harry. 
Yeah, Jay's the guy that if it's the, a, a nuclear war, you want to hang out with, with him because he's going to catch food. He's going to be that guy that knows how to catch food and live off the land. So he's that type of guy. Right. All right. Um, so we're going to have to take bets on all these things. Like, would Jay would Jay say American Idol or The Voice? Oh. Um, and I hmm. guarantee he hates both with a passion. Because he hates anything pop culture. Oh, okay. Um, but he's got to pick one. He's got to pick one. Um, he's going to pick the voice because he probably likes the way the chairs turn around. I I believe he hasn't seen either one, but he might have stumbled on American Idol once by accident. Yeah. And and, and watched it. Uh, you know the newspaper or tv news what will jay say um let's see i think jay would say oh man remember now jay was the guy that we had him do some dumpster diving for us mm -hmm. remember back in the day like he agreed to to do a dumpster dive and take a microphone in there and the and the his phone and he described to us what he was seeing and he ended up everything he pulled out of the dumpster we gave away on the air right <laughs> So I think newspaper. I think something. Yeah, I he think could, he's a reader. I think something he, he can put his it. hands on, and you know, then maybe wrap fish in afterwards. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> dogs or cats? What would Jay say? Dogs. They have dogs. Cats. I would say cats. I think he's a cat person. See how this is a good game. It's a good game, but you got you know you got to know Jay though. That's the thing. If you don't know Jay, it's only it's like a inside joke. It's like but a they, private joke. But the it's not a private joke because he's a salt of the earth guy from Maine. Right. So you already have in your head what kind of guy he is. Right. And once we have him on on Friday, you're going to love him if you haven't met him yet. Right. So, but all these questions need to be answered. Train or plane, what would Jay say? Uh, afraid to fly, train. I would think a train would take too long. So I'm going to say plane. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think he doesn't trust the big flyy things. <laughs> big things that are in the sky, he doesn't trust them. <laughs> yeah, so what would Jay say? That will come Friday. We'll, we'll okay, get him on good. and we'll, we'll get a bunch of questions together and we'll see, is he if finally a boob guy or a, a, a butt guy? Okay. So uh, you want to learn a lesson the hard way? And by the hard way, I mean by somebody else's mistake. Okay. Okay. So, you know, when like something happens with a company and you get kind of ticked off by that company and once in a while you get somebody that's willing to send an angry email, mm -hmm. which I, I've come from the school of thought over the years that I've sent emails, but I'm really nice. You know, I'm from the you get more with honey family, you know, when it comes to stuff. Oh, I love your product. It's so great. I did this one little issue. I just want to run it by you. Like if it's, if you have a minute, you know, that's how I do it. And in I've learned the email world, but not in the live world. No, no, no. To in you, I'm like, oh yeah, no. Yeah. To you, I'm like, listen, that eh. when you're like, face yeah. to face, no, when you're face to face with somebody, you're not nice, but on email, you are nice. It, yeah. Email. You have to be nice also because right. that, I mean, that stuff is around. They could, sh they could do stuff with that. And here is an example. Uh, a Virginia brewery released a beer inspired by a vulgar email complaint from a disgruntled maskless customer. Okay. They have a beer. So what happened was um, an online troll inspired this. They sent a vulgar email message calling the brewery's general brewery's general manager a the b word mm -hmm. okay so um your manager is a b word and your beer tastes like hot old orange juice that's what the email <laughs> says okay so what the beer is now they decided to fight back they have a beer where they have a picture of i don't know if it's the manager it's a great looking woman she's beautiful she is now on the front of the beer OK, it's a picture of her and the beer is called your manager is a bitch. Nice. That's the name of the beer. OK. And then when you Beals beer, when you turn it around, the entire email is on the can in its entirety. And you got to like look at it with glasses or something to, to read it all right. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, Rob, um, 
our Rob Rabbit Tail said, "Hot, uh, hot old orange juice, yummy." (laughs) 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 Yeah, that's a good way to get back at them. And so this girl said she used to work at an Apple store, and she has a secret. If you're a nice person, okay. So if you walk in and you're a, a B word uh-huh. to the people that work there, yeah. they're not going to treat you the same way they're going to treat you if you walk in and you're super nice. Apple actually has a name for these people. So the first thing, rude customers, like we got some psychos in that store. Mm-hmm. But if you're rude to like the geniuses or the, um, pe- the concierge people, you will get your problem fixed most likely however you're gonna pay for it but then you come across some like really amazing people and there was a term that apple used called surprise and delight and so essentially every genius and staff member sort of had a quota that they were able to go above and beyond and surprise customers so i used to see a lot of people would come in with like water damaged phones and you're not allowed to replace those without a fee however the geniuses use like a surprise and delight to be able to give somebody a free replacement. So if you're nice, they will be nice to you in return. I've never been to a genius bar in my life. I've never needed to. My mother, my mother goes all the time and she has a favorite person there who I am convinced thinks that my mother is like her grandma because she's real. She's super young. The girl at the genius bar. And Mm -hmm. my mom knows about her whole life. They talk about who she's dating, you know, what's up. You know, the the girl got a new tattoo. My mother was like, let me see it. You know, they have a whole relationship. So my guess is my mother keeps going back to the genius bar because she probably gets everything there for free. (laughs) Like they, Mm -hmm. they, they treat her like they're like, she's everyone's grandma. Yeah. And you can imagine how many times people go into the genius bar going, I don't know why this doesn't work. Well, have you ever charged it? Oh, (laughs) I didn't know. I didn't know you, you know, you was stupid questions nonstop. So you probably see the same people over and over and over again. Have you ever been to a genius bar? Oh yeah. For what? If something was wrong with my computer and I couldn't fix it, I've taken it in before and said, this isn't working. And they take it in the back, they do something to it and they bring it out and it's fixed. I just call you. You don't have an Anthony. No, I mean, there was times where I had a problem with uh, recording. It was clipping and I couldn't fix it. And it was a software issue with Apple and you had to bring it in and they fixed it. And I've had some things with my phone before and you take it in and they, they take it in the back. I don't know what they do. They do some voodoo with it and they bring it back and it works. Did they charge you? No. Okay, then you were nice. Yeah, I've I've always, but I've I brought it in if I've only had it for a few weeks or a few months or whatever. I'm not bringing my phone in if it's a five, <laughs> saying this doesn't work anymore. Okay, wait. So, uh, JP for Life eighty seven said, "What the heck is a genius bar?" No. Okay, that's probably somebody who doesn't have an iPhone or doesn't like. I have a lot of friends that don't like Apple products. They're very anti Apple. So that's somebody who doesn't know anything about. Um, okay, so David Seeley says he has been to a genius bar. Um, mm. he, he needed an appointment and he said it was easier to get a COVID shot. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, Jeremy says I'm Samsung, that's why. Yeah, lately there ha- it's been a pain in the ass to get into the Apple store because they stop you at the door and you know, they if you buy it because when i bought a phone they stop you at the door and they say what's your name and they go back and get it and they bring it to the front so you can't really go in anymore they don't let you play with the phones and play with the watches that you when you used to do it before COVID. right i wonder if you have to be nice to get a COVID shot Hmm. No, I think it, they just round you up and take you in. But yeah, that that's that's the other thing with Jay. We're gonna have to find out is Jay a Mac guy or a PC guy? Right. Is he got a Samsung phone or does he have an iPhone? I think he has a Samsung. I is there is there a third alternative? Is it something other than Samsung or iPhone? Does is he still have maybe like yeah, a like- Nokia? A Nokia. Like, I think he still has probably a Nokia <laughs> or a BlackBerry. That's what I'm guessing. Flip phone. Yeah, like a, no, a flip phone or a Razor. Right. 
(laughs) (laughs) Because it's, you know why? Eh, It still works. (laughs) As long as it works, eh. I don't need well, a new one. I'm to spend money on a new phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'd, Can't I'd get rather, that from here. I, I would <laughs> rather have a, a new flashlight for my <laughs> necklace. You know, I, I don't need that fancy stuff. You know, you and the fancy stuff. So did you know that in certain countries and in certain places, you can't just name a baby whatever you want to name a baby? Like you if can't? You, no. If you have a baby and you want to name it something ridiculous, they like call Apple. Ch- well, <laughs> apparently here in America, you can name a baby whatever the hell you want. People do, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, there was this Reddit thread that I was reading where I guess somebody had like a midwife and said to the person, oh, what do you name your kid? And they said, Monster Galileo. Nice. And I guess they lived somewhere where you're not allowed to just name a, a kid something ridiculous like that. And they said, you need to change the name or I'm calling child services. And they're like, we're not going to change the name. That's the name we want for our baby. We want to call it. We want it to be named Monster, Mon- Monster. <laughs> which is what you call your dog. Yeah, that's my dog. Monster. Yeah. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, so the the nurse or the wherever she was, the doula called child services and child services came and said, you can't name your baby Monster. So they call instead the name of the baby Galileo. Really? Mm hmm. No, I'm gonna. Well, you can nickname them anything you want, I guess, but right. you can't have monster on their birth certificate. That's not right. That means you have a cool wife that will let you <laughs> name your kid something. You know, like I wanted to name the kids Han Solo, and then that <laughs> that wouldn't go over. Or Casper. I had all these names that I wanted, and I couldn't name my kids these names. So if you have a cool wife that lets you name your kid Monster, <laughs> hell yeah. A, you're going to stay with her forever. Right. And B, you're going to have a damn awesome kid. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, it depends on where you live because there are places they don't let you give your kids stupid names. Like, um, I think in France, they're like that. I think somebody was saying that on the Reddit thread. Like, because like in France, when you register, that's why everyone's name is like Jacques and Marie. Happy. They have the same names because there's only like a few names that they allow you to name your kid. So mm-hmm. this one person tells a story about... Um, somebody wanted to name their daughter Sunshine. And the midwife said it wasn't allowed because, quote, it wasn't a real name. And the woman didn't have any real name. Well, this was this was a long time ago. This was like this was someone's grandma. Um, It wasn't a real name. And the grandma had no other name. And somebody yelled down the hall. Hey, Tina. And she was like, "Okay, I'll name my baby Tina. (laughs) That was it. Well, a lot of people in France don't have middle names. Because right, my, I don't. You don't. Right. Because my family's French. I don't have a middle name. Yeah. See, a lot of people don't have middle names because they, I guess they can't think of two names. <laughs> it's, it's too hard for them. <laughs> I must think of, I must think of a name. You need two yeah. names. I cannot think of two names at one time. I cannot do that. They, it's they, not okay. <laughs> they usually hyphenate like John, whatever. They'll hyphenate. John Claude. John Claude, but they won't have a middle name, which is weird. Right. It's not Jean-Claude Lawrence. It's Jean-Claude Lawrence. Right. You have to say it's like Mark Paul Gossiper, that dude. His mm. name is Mark Paul. You can't call him Mark or Paul. Right. It's Mark Paul. And if you don't, he gets mad. Right. <laughs> then I have to hit you in the face. <laughs> if you get mad at me for what I call you. Yeah. I mean, uh, when you give a girl a name Cooper, you can't also give her a middle name because what's the middle yeah, there's name? There's not, nothing that will go with that. Yeah. Cooper Lawrence. What else is there? What else do you need in there? Cooper Aloysius Lawrence? Yeah, like, what else yeah. are you going to throw in there? Shithead is the only thing that, that really works there. <laughs> there you go. Well, you call me that anyway. You don't even need my, my first name. Cooper shit, Shithead Lawrence. See, that works. <laughs> <laughs> and your mom should be able to name you that. And I guarantee she would have picked that if she would have thought of it. This is uh, somebody who said they worked at a registrar for a while and they were they their job was to, I guess, file the birth certificates or Mm -hmm. check the birth certificates for whatever. And they said there was somebody who named their their kid killer. They named their son killer. Okay, Mm -hmm. somebody else named their son syphilis. Nice. Um, 
and someone else named their kid Sweet Prayer Sunshine, which feels very like that's something I, my cousins are really into Burning Man. That mm. feels like what they will name their children when they have children. Sweet Prayer Sunshine, Lawrence. <laughs> Yeah, Rob says you should have been Cooper. I've had sex everywhere, Lawrence. Yeah, that would be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but my parents couldn't have predicted that. That's the thing. Like, there's no I way my don't know. I didn't hear if you like yeah. <laughs> my parents would not have known that. Here's what this is really funny. So, um, this one person tells a story. Before I was born, my dad wanted to name me Sky, but he thought the Y was really pretentious, so he instead wanted to name me Sky, but with an I. And my mom was like, um, that's ski. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to name her ski. Everyone's going to call her ski. They're not going to know it's sky. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For the rest of your life, you're going to no, it's sky. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's S-K-I. That's ski. I know how to spell <laughs> ski. Thank you very much. Speaking of people that need to be punched in the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 57,000 people need to be punched in the face in the UK. Okay. Why? Uh, Pierce, remember Pierce Morgan had those comments about Meghan Markle on Good Morning Britain last week. And it has now become the most complained about moment in British TV history. Whoa. So Ofcom, which is, I guess, the company that owns Good Morning Britain, mm -hmm. received more than 57,000 complaints <gasps> about the show. So oh people Lord. actually called up the station to complain about it. That's a big deal because nobody really complains. People complain, you know, you hear something and in the moment you're like, I'm going to send an email and then you get on with your life and you forget about it and then life goes on. So the fact that that many people actually went out of their way, that's a big deal. Yeah. Normally they get about 41,000 complaints a week. Oh, okay. <laughs> normally oh, 41,000 well, <laughs> complaints. Uh, the Oprah special uh -huh. got 5,000 complaints. 5, the second most complaints of the week. Wait, 5,000 per day? No, 5,000 complaints. Yeah, in one day. So when they showed the Oprah special on Monday, 5,000 people complained about it. What was the complaint? Just how she was. I, who knows? Like, I why mean, did you show it? Why did you show it? I don't agree with it. Why are you supporting? Uh, right. Exit? It could have been. It could have been anything. But 5,000 people went, jumped on their keyboards to complain right. about the Oprah show and uh, 44,500 complained about a big brother episode in tw uh, 2007. So Did that they not was... know that they can just turn their TV off. <laughs> <laughs> you could just turn your only... TV off and go do literally anything else. Is there only one channel? No, that's the thing. You're, you know, you're not mandated to watch those shows you can stop watching them that would that that would be better than sending an email oh you, you say they don't strap you to a chair and hold your <laughs> eyes open and force you to watch it really you you that you have to get and complain really you know i can just imagine how many tv shows in the states get a complaint you know I, how many complaints does the view get Oh, tons. oh, I'm sure they get tons, but that, that's what they want. That's the difference. You know, the view went from being uh, like one of these shows where they just had, you know, cooking segments to them. They get really political. They get really into yelling at each other. They take very strong political stances. So I'm sure they get thousands of complaints a day, but that's what they that's what they're fueled on. They love that. That's ratings for them. So the more complaints, the better for, for some of these shows. News, can you hold? <laughs> hello fox news can you hold please <laughs> hello fox news can you imagine the, the you know hello cnn please hold right how many complaints they get on a daily basis msnbc all of them the right. the, the nightly news you're talking about tornadoes i'm going to complain about it i i just can't imagine fifty-seven thousand people complaining about piers morgan no there's complaints there too like if you're somebody that that reports the weather and you say it's going to snow and then it doesn't or you say it's going to rain and it rains more or it snows or you say it's going to be one inch and it's 10 inches. I mean, you, you people complain about the weather.
Well, then you, you, what you should do is go, okay, I'll go on with my life. <laughs> I, I have a friend who is, was, is a weatherman. And right. he got a complaint because somebody did not like the tie he was wearing. Like they had a whole campaign against there's certain ties he had. And he didn't have ties that said like, you know, I hate children or anything. He just hmm. was wearing like, you know, a green tie one day. It was yeah, just like a random tie. And people were like, that green tie is hideous. I don't like it. On I don't have to wake up in the morning and look at a green tie. Like, David said he's going to complain to Twitch. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> <Complaining>. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Nobody complains when you say it's one engine. <laughs> <and> engine. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> I bet people still complain about that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. David, they probably still do complain. Right. So call Twitch. Yeah. Get on that phone call and complain He's, about he us. He said he was only six inches and he was 11 inches. <laughs> Cooper loves all inches. I didn't Rob have says. enough lube. Yeah. It's a problem for some people. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the whole point. People complain about everything and anything. You know that the puppy bowl gets complaints. Oh, you, I guarantee it that they're spending too much time on this dog. Right. Why do you have so many dogs of this breed? Why don't you have dogs of that breed? Or, you know, there were too many dogs with spots on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or that dog didn't really participate. That dog didn't play. How could he get points? Like people get really into it. sports. <laughs> you gave that dog a touchdown. He barely played. <laughs> oh, and I, and I bet football games get complaints too. With people calling up and complaining that their team didn't win. <laughs> so they're probably complaining about it. I'm sure people we we thrive on complaining. It's but yeah, I should I should look up 000. the studies about that. There must be some really good research on complaining. Yeah, get on that. We'll 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 bring that up on Friday with Jay. Or today's oh. only Wednesday, isn't it? It's only Wednesday. It's my dad's birthday. Yeah. Oh, and your dad's birthday is actually St. Patrick's Day. Always closing time. Huh. See, and I remembered a goodbye song. That's right, because we've gotten we've gotten complaints. Gotten complaints that um, we don't have a an ending to the show that we just stop talking at some point. Right, which is how we always do it. <laughs> we've always done it like that. We've never said goodbye. So um, <laughs> now we have a goodbye song. We every time it'll be goodbye. different. We have many goodbye songs. Yeah, every time it'll be different. This is today's. Right, and, and Twitch is going to go ahead and 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 silence us now because we're playing this song. Right. I guarantee it. So all you see is our our faces. You don't hear the sound <laughs> because they they've went ahead and uh. So we'll just so we should wave us. then. You should wave so people know. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> And I and I never know how to how to turn it off. So that's that's the problem. Always awkward. It's see, I don't know how to do it. This is why we don't say goodbye. Because we said goodbye and now we're still sitting here. 